Ladies and gentlemen, we have Goku versus Superman. Superman fresh off a big old L from Godzilla. Uh, how will he ever recover? By sliding on Goku. Let's see. Uh, let's see how he fares in this battle. Yeah, I got hair in my mouth. Let's see how he fares in this battle with the new powers of, of Goku. God, and I think Superman's got new I've powers. I've been watching you glaze this insecure, short-tempered, tiny-handed, Hello Kitty-loving, aggressive eczema having ass lizard for a while now. Kong gonna cook this nigga. He already had his chance and... Uh, yeah, no, nah, it didn't work out like that, bro. It, it literally didn't oh work out God, like God, that, God, bro. God. Uh, Kong got beat so bad that uh, he beat a baby out of Kong. And now he has a little baby in the new movie. And they're going to fight together to protect him. Anyway. This battle is sponsored by BetterHelp. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Fight! Let's talk about it, chat. Hold on, let's... Son Goku. Uh-huh. Superman. It's time to answer the ultimate question, and we're taking it all into play. We're examining Superman's extensive mainline comic book okay. canon. Given Dragon Ball Super's contentious continuities, we'll include all three just to be thorough, plus Dragon Ball heroes. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Oh, man. Far away, in an enchanted land, an old master found a boy and marveled at his uncommon strength. This is the story of Son Goku. Just yep, yep. if you've watched some localized anime, you can thank this guy. Inspired by martial arts films and his wife's interest in Chinese culture, Akira Toriyama crafted the story and the character that would define generations to come. Dragon Ball! Kakarot was born a low-class Saiyan on the planet Vegeta, narrowly escaped its destruction by Frieza, and was raised on Earth by happy old Grandpa Gohan. Not just raised, but trained. Gohan began Goku's teaching in martial arts, which he would find to be his true calling under the guidance of Master Roshi. Specifically, he learned the Kame Senen Ryu style, which focuses on discipline and tenacity, yep. both of which strongly define Goku's character. Uh, the more yep. he learned, the more he wanted to improve. This little low-class monkey boy would prove that hard work Yo! and dedication can beat raw talent. Within just a few years, he was so strong, the only worthy teachers left were gods and a talking cat, but mostly gods. When you're training to dodge lightning, you know you're a few leagues over everyone else. He did have a slight advantage. Saiyans are naturally superhuman. They also take Nietzsche's famous words, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, very, very literal. Yeah, yeah. It's almost unfair how much of a boost in power they get after they're hurt. While Saiyans like Vegeta may have abused this trait, it suits Goku. No matter how many times you knock him oh, down, no, he will get world! stronger than before. It helps that he knows so many cool combat moves, like the Kamehameha! An incredibly powerful technique that focuses one's key into a single point for a devastating beam. So challenging, it took Roshi decades to master, but Goku got it in like five seconds. It's incredible. Incredibly versatile with over 50 different variations. For example, Goku can curve the beam after firing or even shoot it from his feet. But unlike most Saiyans, he doesn't just use key to blow shit up. Moves like the Solar Flare, Energy Landmine, and God Bind require a lot more strategy and planning. Because while Goku isn't exactly book smart, he is a genius when it comes to martial arts. He doesn't just train to conquer his opponents, but to conquer himself. He's also got some different moves, like trapping you in a rice cooker. Well, pretty much any container could be used for the mop of a ceiling technique. This and there's Kaioken, a.k.a. Kaioken times 100! Goku's multiplied his power by 20 with it before, and in a movie, he even got it up to times 100. What a badass! The Genkidama, or Spirit Bomb, is potentially his strongest attack, but it requires considerable time. Unlike Instant Transmission, which is a teleport that's... The Instant. The way it works is Goku detects another person, like a sort of beacon, then teleports to their location by launching himself through an alternate dimension where time stands still. Yes, according to the Daisenshu guidebook, it's a dimension hop. You can actually see this in between space in some movies and games. And the dubs wanted us to think it shot Goku's molecules around at light speed. Silly English. The dubs did more than that. In fact, early dubs of Dragon Ball Z tried to rewrite Goku as a Superman figure. 
Even his famous speech on Namek about being the light in the darkness was originally about him coming to terms with his Saiyan heritage, accepting his anger and pride, avenging his people by defeating Frieza, and declaring himself the Super Saiyan. Hell yeah! If there's any scene that deserves the word epic, it's when he went gold. Super Saiyan and its sequels all have official power multipliers, but they yeah. threw us for a loop by turning Goku into a god. Super Saiyan God certainly changed things up. Goku gained Divine Ki, a pure form of Ki unspoiled by mortal hands. Unlike normal Ki, it can't be detected and appears to have healing properties. Kinda like Senzu beans. Did you know one Senzu has so much healing juice it can regenerate a person's lost limbs? They're missing out. God Goku reached a level of power that could compete with the greatest of deities, nearly shattering the Jim whole universe with beans a so broken. crash on his first go. Dragon Ball's cosmology is unique. This model is said to be an accurate depiction of Universe 7, but there's a wrinkle there. When all of humanity went to heaven, because Boo went Boo Zerk, Fidel commented that heaven is just as large as a universe, and the Daisenshu backs her up. And, uh, that's heaven, big planet. So let's scale things up with that in mind. Doing so would make Universe 7 over 1,500 times larger than our own observable universe. And Goku could destroy that much the first time he went god. And he didn't lose that power. He learned how to use it even better, even in base form. Now, imagine how much stronger he became when he stacked Super Saiyan on Super Saiyan God and became Super Saiyan Blue. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Yeah, not saying that. Or after he trained with some almighty angels. Or when he perfected the blue hairdo and stacked Kaioken on top of that. That's Goku has certainly insane, performed bro. great feats with That's God. That's insane. Breaking through Hit's time stop by forcing himself into the future. Holding off Infinite Zamasu, who was a sentient timeline, defeating Jiren, who shook the entire world of Void by just walking. He even tried out Hakai, the destruction god move that okay. nopes you out of existence, your being and your soul erased from all of time and space, culminating in his greatest form, Ultra Instinct. Chrome Goku isn't a normal transformation, it's a state of mind. Ultra Instinct is the highest peak of martial arts, subconsciously making optimal choices because you're in the zone doing without thinking. Something Goku has always been trained to do. Technically, it can be used in any form, but when perfected, Autonomous Ultra Instinct makes you untouchable. No matter what comes his way, Goku will automatically dodge, block, and counter to the best of his ability, even pushing his body well right. beyond his physical limits. So far beyond, in fact, Ultra Instinct can summon a massive avatar to defend him when his own body Bruh. can't. That sounds when really I saw that, intense. When I saw that it shit. is, which is why he's developed incremental versions of it for specific uses. It's extremely difficult to maintain the full form for long. Until you get to Dragon Ball Heroes, aka Dragon Ball Fan Fiction Gone Kaioken times a thousand. While technically a different continuity, CC Goku is functionally a stand in for the mainline Goku. His history and powers are the same, making his story just as much of a what if scenario as the multiple super continuities. The only real difference is Toriyama's not really involved. This Goku used instant transmission to teleport through time and dimensions. He outsped a god who could see the future. He defeated Dark King Fu, who was gonna rewrite the entire see, universe. I didn't watch this. Hell, this series even makes GT cool. Xeno Goku can break space time just by going Super Saiyan 4. Looking back at that goofy monkey boy chopping wood and punching dinosaurs. Do you gotta say that every time? Do you gotta say that every time, dude? Goku has come. How much he's had to face. But no matter the challenge, he takes it head monkey on boy. and pushes through. Showing everyone everywhere how to go even further beyond even further beyond all right let's Faster see how broken superman bullet. is more powerful than a locomotive superman a bird. is it literally invincible dude invincible it's a plane it's Superman. Jeez, just a locomotive? People in the 40s needed bigger imaginations. Born on the far off world of Krypton, the infant Kal El was sent to Earth by his parents, narrowly escaping Krypton's destruction. Raised by farmers as Clark Kent, he eventually became Superman, champion of the oppressed, the man of tomorrow. If you've only seen the movies, forget them. Comic book Clark's not the perfect Boy Scout, and he's definitely not Jesus. 
Wait, weren't the guys who made him Jewish? Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster were sons of Jewish immigrants and grew up in a time when anti-Semitism went largely unchallenged. And then that ugly mustache showed up. Understandably seeking escape from some truly terrifying horrors, the pair created Superman to be a simple solution to overwhelming problems. A hero who could defeat any evil by just punching it. Hell yeah, that's how I live my life. After almost nine decades, Superman has been many things. Damn. At the core, his nine. story is one of a refugee, a child who lost his home, left to the mercy of alien people. This new world accepted him, raised him, gave him a new home, because helping others in need is the right thing to do. That's why he became a superhero, the first superhero. Everything's gotta start somewhere, but he was the first one to really take off. I mean, not literally. It took a while, actually, before he learned how to fly. In fact, when Clark discovered his Kryptonian heritage, he struggled to accept it and subconsciously developed mental blocks, severing him from his true power, which he would uncover throughout his life. He's strong enough to shoulder press the weight of the Earth for five days straight, or crush coal into perfectly cut diamond. That's not how that works. Works. He's fast enough to reach the edge of the universe in seconds or even break the bonds of infinity. Wait, he can do all that, but Batman can punch him out? Ra bro, talk, bro, talk about it, bro. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, this is so, like, what are we doing here, bro? What are, what are we doing here, man? Of infinity. Wait, he can do all that, but Batman can punch him out? Really? You're probably thinking of Elseworld stories outside main canon like Dark Knight Returns. It's a good question though. Superman's powers have fluctuated over time for a variety of reasons. However, for death battle, we take the characters at their best. Yeah, like how his breath is so powerful he can sneeze away a solar system or blow air cold enough to freeze ghosts. Speaking of, his x-ray vision doesn't just see through walls. He can see through your own body and mind to examine your soul. And yet, he can't see through lead. That's okay though, he can just burn through it with his face. Since he gets his power from the yellow sun, his heat vision burns with the fire of a star. That and is if like, beams aren't enough, he can it's blast insane, out of his whole bro. body it's for a insane. super player. It used to totally drain him, but he's learned how to control it. Simply put, Superman's powers defy physics. My favorite examples of this are when he rebuilt the reality warping miracle machine from memory. Or punched Brainiac so hard, every version of him felt it through all of time. What? This nigga punched somebody so hard that every version of him felt it. Can you imagine every version? Or punch Brainiac so hard, every version of him felt it through all of time. Or when he gained 10 years worth he of- He punched that nigga's whole generation. <laughs> he punched that nigga's whole generation, bro. Medical training through only five minutes of reading and then successfully performed lung surgery. Nice. My favorite example is when he smelled brownies in North Dakota from orbit. Even beyond his powers, Superman is no novice when it comes to the intricacies of battle. He's trained in Kryptonian martial arts, which uses G, or as they call it, Shriar. He even got summoned to Asgard to fight demons with Thor for a thousand years. Superman can resist being erased from existence, such as tanking Darkseid's Omega Beams. Even Retcon and the Time Trapper, both of which hijack and alter timelines, can't touch him. Not because of his power powerful mental defenses or healing factor, but because he's a cosmic linchpin in the greater metaverse. Timelines literally revolve around him. But let's address the S-shaped elephant in the room. You may have noticed we've covered a variety of Superman eras. Superman and DC Comics as a whole have gone through multiple retcons. Golden Age, Silver Age, Pre-Crisis, Post-Crisis, New 52, Rebirth, and so on. It would help to know which one is the main Superman, right? Well, yeah. they all are. Yeah, the latest reboots basically said everything in the main series is kind of canon, even when he had wacky powers like changing his appearance with a super muscular control. Ew. I guess he can still phase through almost anything, even people. Look, if you really dig into it, this isn't new. Plenty of characters have recalled events from supposedly retcon timelines before. Yeah, post-crisis soups did start as less powerful than in pre-crisis, but that was because of the mental blocks. Though he's not a complete composite, there's so many other Supermen out there. Future hey! Superman, Big Robot Superman, Kami Superman, Dinosaur Superman. There's a bunch. Still, this new canon has affected his abilities. 
For example, he and other Kryptonians can effortlessly travel through time. And while Superman's powers stem from the Earth's yellow sun, exposure to a blue star increases them even further. In fact, upon visiting a white star, he attained a whole new level of power. He can get when that stronger. When Baldy Lex teleported him to another galaxy, Superman just popped back up, saying space time has lost its meaning for him. He really just said that. Remember, Superman defies physics. Like when he used heat vision to restart the universe by making an all new Big Bang. We've seen that his universe has a radius of at least 100 trillion light years, but we can calculate a more exact figure. The DC Universe is 15 billion years old and expands at 60 trillion light years per half second. This means its radius must be over 50 non-nillion light years across. Non what? what the fuck is That's a non-nillion? Zeros and soups help make that happen. Well, about one fifth of it. That's I'm still sorry, immense but power. The keeps bringing up Batman when we're talking about these power demons. <laughs> that nigga definitely paying for ads because ain't no way. He's a nigger in tights and a grappling hook. He's basically a rich nigger in an expensive furry costume. Oh, God. Nah, that's like, I seen this picture pop up like three times. He definitely paying for ads, bro. He definitely playing for, pay, paying for some like features. But if you want something bigger, here's the anti-monitor blasting Golden Age Superman with all the energy of the antimatter universe. And then Superman, you know, punched him. So hard, it kickstarted another one of those reboots. Now, Superman does have weaknesses. There's kryptonite, of course, and exposure to red starlight can fade his powers over time. Not all at once. He has been able to move planets around while under a red star. So... And everyone knows Superman can't deal with magic, but it's more accurate to say he doesn't have any special resistances to it. He's defeated plenty of magic users before, even Shazam. Superman challenges the idea that absolute power corrupts absolutely. He's the goodest good guy of them all, but there is nuance to being good. Even if he is the ultimate power fantasy, unstoppable and incorruptible. Such as when he took on the World Forger, one of the most powerful reality shapers in all of creation. Who was in the sixth dimension, crafting a whole new multiverse to replace the one Clark calls home. Who's gonna stop him? Superman could. <laughs> My God. Multiverse <laughs> to replace the one Clark calls home. Who's gonna stop Stop him! Superman cut, right, and yeah. the Forger knew it. So he was trapped on a world with a sun so distant he could never escape. Or so the Forger thought. Instead, Clark found- Ain't no damn way, bro. Could never escape. Or so the Forger thought. Instead, Clark found the strength he needed to fly at that sun, dip through a ton of stars, KO the World Forger, and shatter his new multiverse with a single punch. Because that's Superman, a simple solution to overwhelming problems. He's the kind of person to save a cat from a tree, answer Christmas cards from strangers, and tow hundreds of planets to a new galaxy all in the same day. What's not to like? Truth and justice has no better champion than the Man of Steel. Jesus, bro, like this episode of Death Battle is sponsored by. This Better is not Hell. a. It's not it's a competition. I'm sorry. Again, and I just so know, it's Mama literally Boone Superman, Boone. and I don't think people be understanding that. Like, like really think about Give this me that shit, new man. Boone buggy, I've been drooling over. What's gonna be stuffed in your stocking? A couple undiscovered elements would be nice, but the holidays are also about giving gifts to yourself. Hey, man, I'm trying to see a Which fight, man. <laughs> it's time for a death battle. Man battle. All right, here we go, chat. Oh, they just, they already own it. Oh, yeah, I like this animation. Fighters! Today's the day. We'll finally settle who's stronger. <laughs> if you say so. Just fine. Uh. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, that's hard. That's hard. Did he just grab. He just grabbed one of them bitches. Oops. <laughs> well, I guess we can wish it back later. World made of cardboard. All right. I'll show you just how powerful I really am. <laughs> I'm sorry, did he just, did he punch him to where every single nigga felt the punch? <laughs> did he punch him to where his whole, the hole? <laughs> right, I'll show you just how powerful I really am. <laughs> oh my God. Looks like a job, boys. Well, what do you think? <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> You're pretty strong! Oh, uh, thanks. Kryptonian fabric. My mom made it for me. <laughs> ah! Hey! Ah! <laughs> ah! No, no, wait, look how he's staring at him though! What the hell you thought this shit was? had me there that was actually pretty fun <laughs> yeah it sure was but i'll be stronger next time i look forward to it let's go again you're on Damn! Oh, that's it the final indisputable goku lock bro yes man come on bro answer uh, he did. Kidding, people are gonna argue this one forever there are so many ways this battle could go especially superman just got too much shit bro they broke the universes bro they broke the mu universes and put cracks into other ones bro with all the other they, they put would. cracks into different dimensions bro yeah for real goku would kick almost every other superman's ass except for the main one there's a lot to cover so let's address the five categories most representative of this chat <laughs> chat's mad like <laughs> They didn't both die, idiot. Do you know? Do you did you get what just happened? No. Watch it again, dude. Watch it again. Fight. Are First you watching up. on mute, man? He lost, dude. It is what it is. Strength. Both could hit hard enough to break or make their whole universe. Huge cope. Huge cope. Or take it in stride, like when Superman got smacked by the whole antimatter universe. At most. Like, right? did you not hear the description of Superman's powers? Most universe is 1,505 times larger than our own. But based on the DC universe's officially established age and rate of expansion, it is 1.6 Vigentillion times larger. Over a November times more than Goku's. That's a, That's a month, bro. 
When you reach a number high enough that it just doesn't mean anything anymore. Anyway, Goku's obviously gotten stronger since the Beerus fight. Even November million? Like what? By billions or trillions of times, he's defeated Jiren, Broly, Moro, and Fu. But even if we highball Goku by quadrillions or quintillions of times, the gap is just too much. Especially with the World Forger feat. Not even heroes compete with that. Superman takes the edge in strength. But strength isn't everything. Let's talk speed. Both are obviously way faster than light. But Superman cr This nigga went to the edge of the universe, bro. Like, the edge of the universe. That mega-sized universe of his in seconds and flew faster than infinity. Makes sense. He can keep up with the Flash, whose speed is so ludicrous it's unquantifiable. Don't <laughs> count Goku out, though. Flying across the entire afterlife in base form and outspeeding Eos's future sight takes some crazy speed. Fighting Zamasu as an omnipresent merged timeline also implies immeasurable speeds. That, combined with instant transmission and ultra instinct, could probably keep up. Maybe. Quantifiably, Superman is faster, but both are immeasurable. The safest bet here is to say they tie in speed. Especially when we look at skill. Goku's a martial arts master. He's definitely got better battle instincts. He wants to fight and is dedicated to his training, while Superman sees training as a means to an end. Superman's mm. knowledge in pressure point combat and Kryptonian martial arts are impressive, but he's only used them a few times. It would be disingenuous to say he's an equivalent master at that. So Goku wins in skill, but not necessarily in experience. Don't get it wrong, Superman is not a mindless brawler. He's trained with Batman and Wonder Woman. He's even defeated martial arts experts <clears throat> like Cobra without powers. Goku has spent dick. He's even defeated martial arts experts like Cobra without powers. Goku has spent decades training, but Superman battled Norse demons for a thousand years. He's also a astonishingly brilliant like when he reassembled the real reality warping miracle machine from memory experience obviously goes to superman but perhaps less obvious is our last category powers okay spirit bomb mafuba instant transmission god key god bind how does goku not win with those in dragon ball bro it's superman yo superman got like Superman is just powerful, but I feel like Goku got way more cooler powers, though. Like, he just got cooler. It just looks cooler. Is dependent on physical ability, so it's different from magic. Superman God, literally is, is just strong as fuck. Pure key. And magic isn't an auto win against Superman anyway, whose greater strength could break out of something like the God Bomb. Mafuba and the Spirit Bomb would take way too long, and Goku's never successfully used Hakai before. Even if he did land it, Superman's impossible to erase from reality. Like, he's tanked Omega Beams, which do the same thing as Hakai. Superman can time travel, countering instant transmission similar ability from heroes. And regarding teleporting him to a red star, ignoring the fact that Sans can't breathe in space, though Goku's certainly tough enough to withstand a vacuum, instant transmission requires another person to act as a beacon. He can't just warp to any red star. Even if he did, Superman could simply fly away and find a blue or white star for a supercharge. And Goku could not pull off the same trick twice, as Superman could phase through his attacks. So that's it then. Clark has too many counters, so he takes the edge in powers and it's over. Well, I think there's something else. Goku versus Superman breaches a broader zeitgeist. It's more than just two characters fighting. For a whole generation, especially in 90s America, superheroes represented an unyielding status quo. Spider-Man, Batman, Captain America rarely change who they are or what they believe in. For a lot of people, that's tiring, and Superman is an icon of that. Then along came anime. There was a whole other world of ideas and stories for us sheltered Westerners to experience, and Goku's in- Yeah, that shit get weak, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that shit get weak, bro. We get it. You don't use guns, bro, my nigga. Like that's why your that's why your family got taken down by them, bro. You I mean it, it be like that, bro? Like damn, bro. <laughs> Icon of that. So while many see this as a debate between characters, others see it Godzilla! as a debate of ideologies and culture. And if that's what's at stake, who wants Goku to lose? Right. Uh, you sure you're not overthinking this? It's not our intent, but it does call into question what we're doing. How can people agree with what we take as fact when fiction relies on interpretation? Are we stripping characters of their importance by simplifying them to contestants in a vacuum of I mean, of Goku is a monkey, no racism. Illance? And if so, then what's the point? Because it's fun, Wiz! Damn it, man! There's more than one way to appreciate something! Yeah, he ta he, they talking to the people that's gonna be in the comment section is bitching. Hold We're on. having a great time talking about awesome characters and slamming action figures together. And that's okay! Yeah, yeah. 
You're right. I'm just saying, no matter who you prefer, that battle was super, man. Again, That's the, the Batman worst. mention, nigga, please cut it out. This nigga is a regular ass human with karate. <laughs> on. What? It fits them both. It's so lame. I don't see you doing any better. I do the math. The pun's your job. Well, maybe if you math as good as I punned, then Goku would have won. What is Woo! wrong with you? Superman. Hi, I'm Ben. Victorious yet Thank again. So for watching. We are about to announce the next episode, but before we do that, if you're not a Death Metal member yet, click that join button below. See what you're Superman missing. once again, Victorious. Season 10 finale. Galactus versus a unicorn? Wait, what? What? Are, what? Who's that? I know who Galactus is. I don't know who Unicron so is. So Freezer says he hates monkeys, right? But he's become the one oh, thing oh, he's oh, hated. Oh, 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 a nigger. Yo, bro, what? Bro. Bro, what? What did bro say? <laughs> what did bro say? New World of Worlds gameplay? 